Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome the class of 2020 with their families and friends to today's ceremony. I also want to recognize the CHAMPS Board of Directors, faculty and staff who are also viewing today's graduation. This is my seventh graduation address that I've given, and the tried and true script is essentially out the door given these unprecedented times. So let me start with, how are you? It's been close to 100 days since we've been together. We miss you, we care about you, and we truly wish that we could have all been together today. Unfortunately, the pomp is missing this year due to circumstance. This pandemic has made us cognizant of certain numbers, 104 degrees, 14 days, and six feet apart. We've been bombarded with the number of positive cases of COVID-19 and the ensuing death toll. The reality is that each of us has been personally affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, we'd like to recognize the loved ones who have passed away that we wish could have been at today's ceremony. Today, we wanna to focus on a different set of numbers, 12, nine, and 180. We wanna honor the 12 years of education that our students have completed. For the parents, it seems just like yesterday that they were standing at the kindergarten door waving goodbye and were filled with joy and a little bit of sadness. Then came the middle school years and puberty. Finally, they made it to high school, which brings us to today. Each of our graduating seniors are a member of one of nine academies of champs. Digital media, digital cinema, theater, music, dance, robotics, written arts, global impact, formerly known as liberal arts, and programming and game design. During your four years at Champs, I've seen you at theater, choir, band, and dance performances, robotics and debate tournaments, film and art festivals, poetry cafes, and mod ops, just to name a few. Learning is truly visible at Champs. This has resulted in the class of 2020 having 175 students accepted to college and one student going into the military, the Naval Branch. One of the hallmarks of a CHAMPS graduate is the completion of service learning hours. I am proud to note that this year's class has completed 23,837 hours of community service. As a school of the arts, we are keenly focused on creativity and ability to imagine a different future. This trait is needed more than ever today since resilience and innovation is what will carry us forth in the days to come. So to the 180 graduates, congratulations on your accomplishments to date. You have left your mark on the CHAMPS community and we are excited about the opportunities that await you. Continue to stride with Panther pride and in the words of Gandhi, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It's no secret that the past couple of months have been an emotional roller coaster filled with changes. Let's face it, having a virtual graduation was something none of us could have foreseen when we all started our senior year, nor could we have predicted that a global pandemic would shut down the world around us or that there would be a massive panic buying of toilet paper. We were all looking forward to the exciting activities we had seen so many graduating classes get to experience before us, and to finally have the opportunity to celebrate all of our many years of hard work that have led us to this momentous accomplishment. Getting to this point in our lives hasn't been an easy task, especially now. We've all struggled and strived, but look at us now. Well, technically just look at the reflection of yourself in your computer screen, but you get my point. With all that our class has faced over the years, we've truly shown the world how our generation is able to face adversity head on and always find the strength to, in the words of Dory, just keep swimming. When I first sat down to write this speech, I didn't even know where to begin. 
In so many valedictorian speeches, you hear speakers talking about their academic journeys or the excitement of experiencing the last few weeks of high school, but none of that seemed right. So much has drastically changed these past few months that 2020 has felt like a fever dream. For a while, I felt emotionally confused, unable to truly comprehend all of these drastic changes. I cried, binge watched Netflix, ate some junk food, okay, a lot, and cried some more. It took some time for me to realize that it's okay to feel upset about all of these changes, and that I always have to remember just how much I have to be grateful for. This is an unsettling time for all of us, and feeling ashamed of our emotions just because others may have it worse is unhealthy and unproductive. I know I'm far from being the only one feeling rattled by senior year ending this way, and the general anxiety of such tumultuous times. But then, during one of my many, many hours-long ventures into the wonders of the internet, I came across a poem that seemingly was the perfect answer, The Circle of Life by Carly Nash. Quote, life is a carousel, always going forward, never going back. Existence is a hard thing to keep when you stop trying. To live a life, you must want to live. To want to live, you must find a way. When all hope is lost, you must stand tall. When all others retreat, you must prevail. You are the conscience inside your head. You create your own destiny. Life is a very hard thing to keep when your life does not always go the way you plan. Fight for your life and the right to keep dreaming. If you feel you were gifted, share your gift. If you feel you were cursed, fix it. As you get older, your life becomes a challenge. Who are you? What do you want in life? What will you be? What is your purpose in life? If you worry, these things will turn into burdens. But if you hold on to them in the back of your mind, all of the answers will come in time. Life is a carousel, always going forward, never going back. Look to the future, not to the past." End quote. Nash's poem is a message that I think all of us graduates needed to hear. Though the world around us is filled with uncertainty, we must always look ahead toward the bright future that awaits us all. We are each the architect of our future, capable of achieving anything we put our minds to, no matter the roadblocks we might face. Our generation will be the artists, the doctors, the engineers, the writers, the actors, and the teachers of tomorrow. We will not be so easily forgotten by history, and our resiliency and tenacity will leave a lasting mark on the world for generations to come. So always hold your head up high and, like a carousel, keep on going forward. Here's to the class of 2020. I spent forever trying to write this speech, eating stale birthday cake and watching YouTube videos of other speeches. I just couldn't figure out quite what to say. Mostly because everything you'd normally put in a high school graduation speech seems a little shallow, all things considered. But it doesn't really seem right to ramble on about the coronavirus either. A lot of adults have been making grand statements about how this experience will unify us as a class, and how our senior year will be unique, special even. But I think this is one of those rare moments where we would all rather be ordinary. We would rather have been able to partake in all of our senior activities and even bemoan how lame they were. We would rather walk across the stage proud, albeit a little embarrassed, to hear our families cheering us on in the audience. We would rather not be defined by this pandemic. After all, who wants to be defined by missing out on something? As a generation, we've already had so many defining moments. Between school shootings and women's marches, presidential impeachments, and a post-9-11 world, we weren't afforded the childhood innocence of generations before us. How could we be when kids are shot in schools and every tragedy is plastered all over social media? And all of our thoughts, feelings, and outrage about these events would often fall on deaf ears because we were deemed old enough to hear but found we were too young to be heard. But now, as we leave high school and enter society, it is our turn to be heard. What will we say? What will define us? Our high school years weren't the shiny CW teenage experience. Even without a pandemic, our lives didn't orbit around sporting events or school dances. 
Instead, we wrote and performed plays, choreographed dances, went to national competitions, and learned not to take fire alarms too seriously. We held our own Pride Day, put on audacious musicals, and drew with chalk in the fourth floor bathroom. Our beloved teachers dressed in drag, played Scrabble at lunch, and guided us through Champs' first year of advisory. These small moments make up who we are just as much as March for Our Lives or Me Too. Armed with these experiences, we will go out into the world with a greater appreciation for everything it has to offer. We will become a generation of adults that stops to listen to younger voices and that takes bold action to make change. We will carry on with greater empathy and compassion for others. I'd like to say thank you to all of the teachers, families, and friends who have helped us get to today, even if today doesn't look like we thought it would. And to my fellow classmates, the class of 2020, congratulations on four years of hard work and incredible growth, academically and emotionally. Whatever we do and wherever we go, we will go on to achieve great things. We will live, love, and experience a life so full that this year won't be what defines us. Our best defining moments are yet to come. Kristen is a teacher in training at a Los Angeles middle school. One summer, she and a group of three northbound Angelinos decide to take a ride share up the west coast together. Kristen is the driver. Her three passengers, Haley, Nelson, and Ruby, are splitting the bill on this long journey. Their destinations are similar. Haley is a cobbler and a geologist headed up north to examine a recent meteorite crash site. Nelson is a struggling comedian, calling it quits to return to his family farm. Ruby is a sarcastic first-year college student, traveling to her university without a familial farewell. Kristen is headed to this college as well. It is her younger brother's school. As the three travel up the coast, their interactions grow more intimate and explosive. On occasion, a college radio broadcaster named Spencer interrupts their silences to air an interview with his favorite band. Each time the group stops, they expand and contract. Each time the broadcaster cuts in, he grows more tormented, frustrated, and regretful over his inability to fulfill his creative desires. In time, the group parts. Haley finds companionship at the meteorite site, Nelson finds independence among his family, and Ruby arrives at her school, hoping to move beyond the cold ways of her family. I won't tell you what happens to Kristen and Spencer. Champs love stories. Whether it be the influence of our theater department or some universal human inclination amplified by our artistic climate, Champs thrives on narrative. Narrative is a force of attraction for Champs. Students like myself forego local academic options and travel across the valley daily to immerse ourselves in the academics of a school dedicated to storytelling. Narrative is also a unifying force for our school. While productions of American Idiot, Rent, and Monop attract friends, families, and even curious peers, the Robotics Academy gets by with our small, 20-something band of students, parents, and Mr. Lovas. People at Champs are not drawn to screwdrivers, they are drawn to stories. This is a good thing. Despite my bias towards the latter academy, I do truly believe our position as a school of stories is a benefit to students and teachers alike. It lets us examine ourselves more closely, find solace in struggle, and develop our minds with the clarity of a well-written book. This appreciation for storytelling has indeed manifested itself in my own time at Champs. I've seen it in unsurprising places, fervent English class discussions, my own enjoyment of school play productions despite my jealousy over their popularity. It's been there among friends arguing over the production of short films, in the minds of artists whose canvas is clothing, and yes, especially in teenage tragedies of the heart. Even in robotics, I find myself and others likening our team and our robots to character archetypes in the story of our season documenting our journey to failure or success with all the ups and downs of a Steinbeck novel. The storytelling bug can be particularly hard this year. Feeling somewhat wistful that I'd get to revel in the lifeblood of the champ's identity, I decided to join Mr. Heffernan's advanced creative writing. This is the class responsible for writing and producing our school's annual multimedia play production, Modop. As far as champ's traditions go, there are few as synonymous with champs as Modop. Darla Danksel and I spent the better portion of this academic year outlining, writing, and rewriting a script for Modop that we hoped would allow us to vent the growing pains of the class of 2020 and engage the Champs community with a story of loss, acceptance, and growth. If you're wondering what that story was, I'll give you a hint. You've already heard most of it. The complete ending of that story is far too tragic for this occasion. Much like the story of the class of 2020, its resolution is marred. 
Despite our school's infatuation with narrative, our story at Champs has no romantic ending. Instead, it finishes with frustration and regret. And yet, we are now compelled to draw our eyes to a hopeful future. So with heavy hearts, we quiet our longings for a do-over. We look up and out to the world beyond our school of stories, and we take the next step towards writing our own. Trust me, there's so much more to feel. Thank you. Manuk Abovian. Madeline Rose Abramson. Javiera Yanina Acuna Rodriguez. First off, I just want to thank everybody who made this graduation possible. And most importantly, I want to wish the class of 2020 a lot of happiness and success in your futures. We did it. Mary Arseni. Sophia Nicole Alba. Nevea J. Allen. Lucas Allen Altschwager. Susan Stephanie Amerhanyan. Chloe May Anderson. I want to say thank you to everyone in my life who's helped me get this far. I couldn't have done it without you guys, and I love you all very much. <laughs> Diana Crystal Angulo. Dennis Gabriel Ariano Gonzalez. Mary Lana Asatrian. Liam Shimon Avtal. I'd like to thank my parents, siblings, and my entire family that supported me all the way through high school. And in the future, I want to be a business owner. Dylan Roma Bachman. Nadine Lexi Bahena. I'd like to thank my friends and family for always supporting me, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Jovan Dominic Balaam. Victor Andrew Banuelos. Melanie Nicole Brazil Stewart. Hello everyone, I did it. I'm finally graduating. I'd like to thank my teachers, my family, and my friends, and everyone for their support and love. Thank you. Yay. Taylor Joy Brewster. I just wanted to say thank you to my family, specifically my parents and my grandparents, for always supporting me and helping me. Matthew Anibal Osorio. Hi, thank you to all my friends and family for helping me graduate, as well as my teachers for having confidence in me. Happy class of 2020. Kristam Kurt Mayo Cabatting. Enrique Vicente Camacho. Manuel Emilio Camacho. Julissa Crystal Canella. Good luck in your future. Whether it be you going into college, you going into community college, you going into work, or you just not knowing what to do at this point. It's okay, okay? It's your choice. Santiago Paulo Castillo. Thank you to my family and friends and Champs Charter staff members for helping me get through this chapter in my life. I appreciate you all. Until next time. Amanda Gloria Castro. Andrea Castro. Ashley Tyler Kao, Jonathan Liam Champana, Journey Jade Channel, Carlos Julian Chavez, 
Sandra Ruby Cifuentes Wilson. Class of 2020, we finally did it. We graduated. Thank you for all the teachers who had confidence in us for graduating. Yamily Alexandra Cifuentes Wilson. Yay, I did it. Elijah Nelson Clark. Luke Courbier. Masai Benjamin Crouch. Sophia Jacqueline Crouch. This is very unconventional. This is like a good, <laughs> good luck Charlie moment. Um, congratulations to everybody. Zachary Amos Dana. Jessica Rose Dangsil. Josue Antonio Davila. Jessica Maison DiBiazio. Alessandro Del Piano. Aiden Vance Dunn. Hi, my name is Aiden and I will be attending Santa Monica Community College next fall. I would like to thank my parents for the countless support they've given me and for Champs. Thank you. Madeline Claire Eaton. Congratulations to my fellow Champs class of 2020. I want to thank all of my friends and family for their love and support along the way. Sophie Sky Edwards. These last four years have been amazing, so thank you to everybody who's been a part of it. Natalia Maria Estrada. Marilyn Estrada Osuna. Fahima Hania Fahir. Skylar Rain Finnamore. Do you like a funny one or like a real one? Wait, are you going? I want to say something nice. I truly love the dancing pattern. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Jocelyn B. Flores. Aneth Flores Macias. Sage Fogel. Grace J. Foster. Thank you to my friends and family that have supported me throughout my high school years. Anna Michelle Friedman. Claire Galicia Goldsmith. Bless the adventure begin. Emily Josephine Garcia. Nicholas Adam Garcia. Fatima Montserrat Garcia Vicente. Kaylee Gaspar. Seven Marie Gilmore. Olivia Harrison Glazier. Jana Ann Goss. Phoenix Rebecca Haruko Grisius. Jade Lynn Gudvi. Luke R. Gustorf. Hike Hakobian. Armine Harut Yunyan. Shahar Heyun. Ella Rose Helmerick. Nestor Alexander Hernandez. 
Time Khalil Hester. Germaine Hoyos. Silas Eugene Hunter. Thank you, Theater Academy, for giving me a great three years, and thank you to the homies who were always there and supported me throughout it. Brianne Joy Ibarra. Jackie Aaron Igna. My name is Jackie Igna, and after high school, I plan on studying to become a nurse. I just wanted to come on here to thank my friends and family for everything. Sloan Elizabeth Jacobs. I would like to thank my friends and family for pushing me to become the driven person I am today. Weggins Tart Jean Baptiste. Benjamin Evan Jensen. Hi, I'm Ben Jensen. I will be graduating from Robotics Academy and I will be majoring in Biological Sciences at Chapman University. Layla M. Johnson. Hi, Chams, class of 2020. I'm so glad to be graduating with all of you. I love all of you and I'm sad we couldn't do this in person. And congratulations! Vanessa Simone Johnson. Hi, my name is Vanessa Johnson, and I'm so thankful for my parents for getting me to this point. I'll be studying at CSUN with a major in theater and a minor in entertainment media management. Thank you. Ridley Francis Casson. Thank you to my family, friends, teachers, and counselors for getting me to this point. I honestly thought I never would. William Allen Commissar. Jonathan Isaac Krumer. Congratulations to the rest of my peers that graduated 2020 year and uh, have a good summer. Emma G. Langlin. Nakira Latham. Riley Alexandra Labo. Soli Liotti. Congrats, class of 2020. I'm so proud of us. I want to say hello to my theater family. Hello. I love you so much. I miss you. Brianna Lopez. Berlin Arellis Lopez Hernandez. Brandon Dale Macavinta. The world is Brandon Macavinta. I just want to say thank you for everything. I will go down as history's finest gamers, dancers, and artists out there. Um, remember the name, Brandon Macavinta. Inna Mylian. Milo Winter Lash Manugian. Hi, I. Hi, I'd like to thank my friends and my family, and especially the Nigerian prince who's going to pay for my college tuition. As soon as the money comes in, I'm just so lucky. Geraldine Navarrete Martinez. Morgan Elizabeth Maxwell. Fakra Finn McAllister. Hi everyone, I just wanted to thank my friends and family and hopefully I will be attending Bard College in New York in the fall. Tess Marie McCain. Hayden Scott McGinnis. Brennan Michael McKinley. My name is Brendan McKinley. I'll be attending LA Film School for the next four years studying cinematography. Just wanted to say thank you to my friends and family for helping me through the past four years. Lee F. Mackey. I'm so thankful to have my family and friends help me get through my high school career. Victor Raul Mena. 
Emmanuel Mendoza. Madison Renee Menendez. Medardo Osmin Menhivar. Margaret Grace Mezzaro. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. I'd like to thank my parents, teachers, staff, and friends for making these four years the best. Fred L. Millis. Brianna A. C. Minor. Brooklyn Donovan Mojica. Hey, weirdos. Uh, 2020 is whack right now, but we're graduating, so that's cool. Peace and much love. Harper Jack Maloney. Jorge Daniel Moran. Michaela Jade Morris. Emma Lynn Mosley. Ishika Mukherjee. Jennifer Merguia. Idan Nagid. Edgar Allen Navarro. Aiden R. Nelson. See y'all on the flip side. Axel Diego Oliveros. Alana Jolette Olmedo. Sabrina Loren Pashan. Genesis N. Pahua. Layla Dream Pascal. Hey, I'm Layla Pascal. I'm going to Michigan State University in the fall for graphic design. Thank you for everybody who made this possible and congratulations. Violet Meta Paulson. You must always have faith in yourself. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it! Sophia Julia Pavesi. Ethan Niels Peterson. Lily Sarah Pete. Adla Perez. I'd like to thank my family and friends for always striving me to be the greatest. God bless. Zoe Louise Phillips. Jose Pablo Polanco. Aliza O. Rave. Bradley D. Rave. Helen Maciela Racinos. Amanda Christina Reyes. Emily Isabella Rich. Carlos Daniel Rivera Godinez. Matthew James Roberts. I'm so thankful to my friends and family who helped me along this journey in the past four years, and I'm so excited to be graduating from Champs Charter High School in the class of 2020. Brittany Alejandra Robles. Hey, class of 2020. I'm super happy to have my friends and family celebrating this special moment with me. Congratulations and a special thanks to my family, my parents. Go Panthers! Jenna K. Robles. Hello, my name is Jenna, and I'm very thankful for my family and the best friends who've been there along the way. I'll be going to CSU tonight. 
Amy Angelina Rogan. Ella Elizabeth Ruhir. Natalie Elise Royce. Thank you to the Champs Dance Academy faculty and to my family. I wouldn't be graduating without you guys. I love you. <laughs> Ashley Jade Salas. Gabriel G. Salazar. Hey guys, just wanted to thank all my friends and family for helping me throughout this journey and looking forward to the new one. Ashley Marie San German. Saul Alejandro Santillana Ortega. Kate Ross Schneiderman. Hi, thank you to my friends and family for supporting me these past four years, and I will be attending California College of the Arts in San Francisco, California. Marlena Desiree Schulman. Ayana S. Scott. My name is Ayana Simone Scott. I'm going to Pacific Lutheran University in Tacoma, Washington for acting and directing. I would like to thank my family for supporting me in my educational journey and beyond. Edward Gregory Segal. Thank you to all my friends, my family, and my teachers for helping me get here today. So I congratulate just to go to school again. Naya Marie Serrano. Kelly Jeanette Serna. Grace Marie Sakunian. My name is Grace Sakunian. I plan to go to Los Angeles Valley College in the fall. And I just want to thank all my friends and family for being there for me throughout high school. Remy Lior Cher. I just want to thank all my teachers, counselors, uh, my family and my friends. And I'll be studying at UCLA in the fall. And congrats to everyone. Shyla Fabrina Silva Giasis. Devin Reese Simon. Daniel Sterling Smith. 2020. Champ Strong. Matthew Anthony Smith. <laughs> One more chance. <laughs> I don't know, so. <laughs> this is gay as fuck. Carlos Daniel Solis. I just want to thank my mom, my dad, and all the teachers that have helped me throughout the years. Thank you. Amelia Rose Sones. Thank you to all my friends and family for their support. I will be attending LA Trade Tech in the fall for cosmetology and music. I'm excited for the future, and I wish everyone the best. Mateo Jose Sosa. Quiero agradecer a toda mi familia por el apoyo que me han dado en los últimos cuatro años. Spencer Armand Stubblefield. Hasmik Sulyan. Benjamin P. Titel. Samantha Jordan Tomes. Congrats, class of 2020. Let's go. We did it. I'd like to thank my amazing teachers, family members, and friends for the amazing experiences and opportunities, and especially my mom and dad. William Tibbles. Dinalee Brooklyn Tiger. Thank you to my friends, my family, and my teachers. Kylie Angelica Torres. Nicholas James Lyle Torrible. Zane Grayson So. Augustine Seven Urbina. River Emmett Ewer. I 
would like to thank my parents, my friends, my teachers, and my counselors for getting me to this point. And I'm really excited to start this new chapter of my life. Isabel Ann Van Komene. I will be going to an acting conservatory in San Francisco called ACP, and I'd love to thank my family and friends for supporting me. Erin Ari Vance. Raul Vasquez. I would like to thank all of the teachers who helped me out to get where I am now, and I'd also like to thank myself because I went through all that hard work to get where I am now. Phoenix or Ryan Vasquez. Abigail Laura Weiss. Abby Weiss, and I will be attending University of Colorado Denver, pursuing my bachelor's degree in music business. I would like to thank my mom, my family, my teachers, and all of my friends. We did it! Alice Solange Wills. Nathaniel Mendoza Sumner Winslow. Thank you to Mom, Dad, Josie, and everybody else who contributed to four wonderful years at Champ Strider High School. Thank you, guys. Jake M. Young. Charlotte Grace Ceruni. Emily S. Zatino. At this time, I would like to invite the class of 2020 to move their tassel from the right side to the left side to signify that you are a graduate. Congratulations. To the class of 2020, congratulations. It's been an honor to see your hard work and resilience pay off. I can't wait to see what the future holds as you go forth and represent your communities as champions. Well, class of 2020, you made it. It hasn't been easy, but you are an amazing group of, of people. And I know that through this challenge and adversity, you're, you're prepared to go on and do amazing things. I can't wait to see what the future holds for all of you. And um, you always hold a special uh, place in, in the hearts of all of us here at Champs Charter High School. Um, thank you for all that you've um, endured and, and um, been successful in, in completing. And, um, and we're super, super proud of each and every one of you. Um, congratulations again, um, each and every one of you graduates um, of Champ Charter High School 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020, Champ Charter High School. I know this has been anything but traditional, and I know that most of you have only known me for a short amount of time, but today is all about you. I could not be more excited for you guys, more proud of you guys, and I know all of you will go on to do great things. So remember, it's always important to inspire those around you to greatness, hold yourself to the highest standards possible, work with purpose, and always move to change the world. We're very proud of you, class of 2020. Congratulations, champs. You did it. Hey, Charter High School of the Arts, this is Will Farrell saying congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. You guys did it.
Smile. 